Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today I want to talk about the Unity Collaborate system. So the Collaborate system is another source control engine, a lot like uh, Git or SVN or Team Foundation Services, anything like that. It's just another one, but it's built by Unity, integrated in, and it does uh, a little bit of cool stuff, and it's pretty easy to get started with. So I wanted to just do a quick video and show people how to do that and also show off one of the coolest things that I found is now supported. Now it's worth mentioning that I also normally use Git for most of my development and that's mostly just for the C Sharp code side. I just find it easier to use than everything else. But um, in a big project with a lot of art, I'm starting to think Collaborate may be a good option or at least worth experimenting with and try, trying. So let me just kind of dive in and show you the steps to get set up and then I'm gonna show you something that I thought was pretty damn awesome. So I've got a project here. Uh, I just grabbed in this low poly survival assets pack. I'll link it below in case you want to check it out. It was free and pretty cool. And I'm going to go in and first just, uh, I need to turn off whoops, the light baking. Just make sure that that's off because otherwise it kills my system. Auto generate. There we go. Just kill that because I'm going to be moving things around and it'll rebake lights and cause a lot of problems. Uh, okay, so the first thing we do is just go to this collaborate and check it. I just click on it it gives me a little option to enable it and I'll enable it and what's gonna happen is we now have source control so that's as much as I have to do is just click the little button enable it and I have a source control system kind of up and working now what happened was it added this little collab toolbar here you can see here it says open the collaborate toolbar that right there is the same as just clicking on this little pop-up here this pop-up, I don't really like the look of it, but it does show all of the changes, and you can also see all of the changes in the project view. Uh, I'm much more a fan of a big UI for my source code commits and stuff, but this works. I can see it, and I can still see everything down in the project view. So it's not a huge deal. And I'm just gonna give this an initial commit. Uh, I'll just call it like a added low poly pack. And then hit publish. And now, once this finishes, which is pretty quick, you can see, my project is in source control, it's uploaded somewhere, and it's shareable. I can grab this on another system, start working on it, or I can you know, recover these things if something goes terribly wrong, or if I make a mistake and just need to undo. Right. So l let's start that way. So I'm going to collapse that, and I'm just going to go in and um, let's say I went in and I deleted these things and saved, and I was like, oh no, I need to undo that. I, I, I've ruined my scene, or maybe I even deleted the scene, right? Let's delete the scene completely. Ah, somebody deleted my scene. How do I get it back? Here, I'll open the other one too, so it's totally gone. And now I've realized my mistake. I want to get that scene back. I can hit that open history, and look right here. You can see there's an option to restore. I can even go back to my initial commit, which is before I had everything in there. What was in here? Just the asset files, yeah. So what I can do is just click on this restore button and it's going to tell me that it's going to undo my local changes, which in my case is just that delete. So it's not a big deal. There we go. I've got my scene. It's back. Everything works. Now, let me show you how you can use this to collaborate with another user. So I've opened Unity here, just another instance of it. And then if you go to projects and choose the in the cloud option, you'll see your collaborate projects available. Now, if you've shared your project with somebody else, this will show up for them too. So they'll see the name of the project and then the organization that it's under. So it'd be your organization showing up on there. So I'm gonna click on it and then give it a location. And let's just call this a uh, collaborate, let's see, dash two. Oh, oh, I need to create a folder. Let's do that. So a new folder and we'll put it right into here. And here we go, the project's opened up in another instance of Unity. And again, this is in a separate project folder. So I'm trying to simulate that I'm working as two people on different systems in different places at least. So I've got this project here. I'll go in and on this one, I'm just gonna open up that example scene again. So let's just open up example. And I've got you know, the tree, campfire, the little box. Oh, and I just kind of flew away. Double click on things to go back to them though. Nice click. Um, so what I want to do is make a change in the original, or actually let's just make a change in this copy. So maybe I'm another person who's come in making some changes and I wanted uh, this tree over here because it's too close and I think the tree should be bigger. I save my scene off and then I go up to this collab thing. Notice there's an up arrow. That just means that again, I have changes to publish. 
You'll also see that the markers down here are showing that there's something in example and it's this example scene, which lines up with the one change that I see here. I'm just gonna put in a message like moved tree, hit publish. And then I'm gonna jump over to the other instance of Unity. I'm not gonna do anything else, let's just watch. In just a second, you should see that update and tell me that there are some changes that I need to pull down. Oh, I got an error saying it couldn't submit the change. Let's try again. So add it or moved tree. Let's publish and I'll watch it publish and just make sure it's successful. Okay, there we go. And then jump over. And here you see it already automatically updated. It pushed out the notification that this thing has changed and there's something for me. So normally I probably won't have this collab window open. I'll just see that. And what I do is just click on that and I can hit update now. If I don't have any local changes that are gonna break something, just pull it in, there we go. My tree is now moved in in the other spot. Now I wanna show you the thing that I thought was really, really cool. So again, let's start off and say I'm making some more changes to this scene, right? I'm taking, um, let's see, let's let's move this tent. Decided I wanna move the tent over and I wanted to make a couple tents, right? Like maybe I got three tents here. And uh, let's make this campfire a little bit bigger too. So grab the campfire, scale it up and move it up so that it's not under the world, kind of get it into place. And I'm just working along, you know, making changes to the scene, setting up a camp that multiple people can sleep at. And maybe my buddy or somebody else on the project is also in here and he's working on trees. It's like, hey, you know, this place needs more trees. I'm gonna duplicate these trees I'm gonna shrink them down a little bit, you know, get a couple, a little bit of variety here, you know, kind of fill this place up. And he saves and he commits those. So maybe he's like, hey, I added some trees. Publishes. And then I'm still over here working on my tents. You know, maybe I got one more tent to add in, doing some fine tent placing work. Um, and then I look up here and go, oh, hey, somebody has been uh, making changes. Maybe I can grab them. So I'll save my scene and hit collab and then just hit update now. Watch what happens. So it's a, hey, there's a there's an update. Um, oh, and I load in and look, I've got their tree changes and I've got my, um, oh, you can barely see these tents with the lighting. I've got my tents in here too. So what happened is it just kind of merged the scene it merged their changes with my changes and it just, work which is awesome if you've done much uh, scene merging stuff before you know it, it can be problematic and kind of a pain looking at a scene merging git is um, definitely not straightforward unless you're very familiar with the serialization structure and how everything's set up and even then the scene files can get big and it can be confusing so this really blew me away I was really impressed with the fact that this actually worked it also seemed to work with deleting things um, adding new stuff Seems like the merge is just there, kind of built in and awesome. So again, if I want to go back to other builds, I can. I can look at the history here. There are some downsides right now that I see with Collaborate. Uh, primarily, I have not seen any way to branch. Uh, I don't know if that's coming. I hope it's coming. If you're a programmer, branching is probably a very big common thing for you. Game designers and artists, not so much, right? They usually, they're working on things and kind of checking them in relatively constantly, or they're working on a scene that's different. They're not working in code that's gonna drastically break things. So I'd say, uh, yeah, branching would be a great thing. Once, once there's branching and maybe a slightly better UI, I might consider just switching over to Collaborate permanently. For now, just trying it out, going through things, uh, looking for issues and edge cases that might be a problem and trying to figure out what projects this is a, a good source control solution for. So if you've used Collaborate a lot and have some pitfalls or just advice, suggestions, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to kind of know more and just learn more about the system. And I'm sure everybody watching would too. Um, and if you have questions, of course, feel free to ask them below. And of course, always don't forget to like, subscribe and all the other random YouTube stuff just it, it does help it you know gets the stuff out there and more people watch and that's helpful for me and kind of gets more videos done so thanks again for watching um have a great day